Hi, welcome to He's Crafty. I'm Tom. And I'm Eric. And say, Tom, did you know that if you put your pet in your video, you're guaranteed to get more views and likes on YouTube? I did not know that. I did. So that's why in this video, we're going to have my dog, Penny. Awesome. What are we making? What are we making? Well, today we're going to make this mutated dog from John Carpenter's The Thing. So we're going to use this Home Depot wolf skeleton for this project. I'm also borrowing my kid's Bonsai Geyser Blast sprinkler. I taped off all the holes in it because we're going to use an air compressor. We don't want any of the air to come out. Next I got one of these sprinkler system blowout adapters with a shutoff valve to control the airflow. One end hooks into the sprinkler and the other to the compressor. If you don't have this valve, then the air will just seep out of the sprinkler. You won't be able to build up any pressure. And that's not what we want. Time to bust out the air compressor and crank that baby up between 100 and 150 PSI. Hook it into the sprinkler and let it fly. Once the tank empties out, just shut the valve and let it build back up. Now it's time to see if we can fit the sprinkler into the dog skeleton. Oh, it actually worked. Now we're gonna run all the hoses through the rib cage. Like so. Time for a test run. And I think we nailed our desired effect of alien bursting out of dog. I'm gonna spray paint the entire section with this gloss burgundy. I plugged the holes with these wooden skewers so the paint wouldn't seal them. Onto the alien legs. I took six of these three quarter inch PVC couplings and I glued them to the dog's skeleton. Magic. I'm also gonna secure them with some Loctite spray foam. Make sure you don't get any of the hoses stuck in the foam. It'll cut off the airflow. All right, the foam is dry, so I'm gonna move on to this torso section here and stand the dog up and try to just beef up this section with some bubble and shrink wrap. I'm just trying to make it look like there's some meat on this bone. Just take your bubble wrap, wrap it around the section. And you get your uh, shrink wrap roll here and just go ahead and shrink wrap it up. I'm gonna use these leftover sheets of foam to fashion its split open head. We don't need these ears, bro. I'm gonna take the sheets of foam, I'm just gonna secure it around its neck with tape. Now I'm gonna go over it with some spray foam. Give it about 10 minutes to dry, then we can shape the foam. Once we add some color, the sucker's gonna look meaty. Now let's stand this baby up and start layering it with fur. I bought a yard and a half of faux fur from the store. I cut the fur and I layered it over the midsection. Cut little slits to get the PVC through the fur for the alien legs. I also pulled the hoses through from the sprinkler. Got all the PVC and the hoses pulled through. We got this baby looking like this. Next, I'm gonna to start to uh, trim off sections to get it to fit around the skeleton. I'm gonna secure it all down with some hot glue. Just keep trimming and gluing, trimming and gluing. I'm gonna flip it over, get the fur to cover its underbelly. Now we'll just go through and we'll uh, cover any exposed sections of the skeleton with some fur. I took a piece of the fur and I use it as one of the split open parts on top of the head. 
just got that sucker into place and then use some spray foam. Nice. Let's start covering these legs. Just going to section at a time, trimming what I need to trim, and then gluing it into place. And this, this paws in the way. We need to get rid of this crap. Just break that sucker off and finish with the fur. Body's looking about complete. I'm gonna work on these front paws, but these parts, they gotta go. They gotta go. After those uh, claw parts are gone, I just started layering the front of the paws with some white fur. And once those are both done, I'm just going to go over top of that with the other fur. And I'm going to layer some more of the fur on the back of the split sections of the head. Add a little more foam around the seams, just to tie it all together. Let it dry, pat it down, and move on. Now I'm gonna cut some three quarter inch PVC into all different sizes. I'm gonna take some 90 degree fittings on the ends of these. Plug in some of the random links. And just keep attaching sections. Now I'm going to go over them all with some spray foam. Once you have all six attached and foamed, our doggy's looking like this. Need some nails to the end of these legs, so I'm gonna use the leftover ones I cut off. A little foam on the ends and then stick the nails in there. Get in there. And I'll just foam over the top. Looking nasty. Time for my favorite part, Mod Podge and shop towels. Dab on the Mod Podge, cover with shop towels, repeat. I'm trying to cover up these sections, uh, make them look all like one piece and less like PVC. And once this step is complete, you're gonna need 24 hours to completely dry. Now we paint. Gonna mix some glossy red with some glossy chocolate brown. We start to cover all these fleshy parts around the head. After that dries, I'm going to go over the top of it with a glossy Tuscan Red. I'm going to fill in those eye sockets in his nose with a glossy black. I dab over the top of it with more Tuscan Red to blend the colors together. Let's get those teeth looking nice and white. After it all dries, I'm going to go over the top of it with some bloodbath from Deadhead Props. Don't be afraid to make a mess. Looking like some premium gore. So after all this dries, I'm going to hit some of these spots here with the Tuscan Red again just to fill them in. And now we're gonna repeat all these steps for the legs. And before it dries, I'm gonna do a dry brush layer of black to blend in those colors. These paws really bother me because they look too fluffy. I'm gonna trim them up a little bit to see what we can do. Then I covered them with a polycrylic top coat that fur matted down looking. While that's drying, I got some of this tubing. Cut some sizes that I wanted. I used a heat gun to get a better shape out of them. Then I painted them all red. I'm 
just gonna make little cuts in the fur and glue these things into place. With some more alien tentacles coming out of our doggy. These paws are dry, but they look like trash. I'm gonna use the tips of the nails from the leftover paws to give Alien Dog some nails of his own. Just cut them off, and then hot glue them onto our dog. I'm gonna cover them with some more blood, because you can never have enough blood. And voila, they look like complete I'm gonna go off script here, and I'm gonna make some more alien legs popping out of the dog's paws. And I took some 45 degree fittings, cut some slits in the fur on the paws, jammed those suckers in and glued them into place. Used some extra nails in the tips, and just spray foamed over the top. Flatten that out, and I'm gonna trim the excess foam. Gonna repeat our painting steps. A little black on the top to blend it all. After that dries, a little blood bath. And that's a win. Gonna add some strips of the fur to give it more of a I'm an alien busting out of this dog's paws look. It's time to test out the air compressor and the sprinkler. Well, that sucks. That's not quite the effect we're going for. At all. I'm about to call this one a loser. So it turns out the spray paint made the tubes too rigid, so I removed it with some rubbing alcohol. And yes, this is as annoying as it looks. So once it's all removed, I, uh, I test it again. It looks better, but whatever. I, I spent way too much time on this prop. Woo. So I'm gonna take this red paint pen and color the hoses with it. And there's our final effect. Not the best, but uh, whatever. I gotta move on. I spent too much time on this thing. Although the sprinkler did not go as planned, I think the rest of the prop came out pretty dope. Time to move on to the next project. Penny! Penny. Come here, Penny! Penny! I don't see what the problem is. This is why you never work with kids or animals, bro. Too temperamental. Be Santa! <laughs>